Hey y'all, it is September 4th. Our uh, archery season doesn't open until the 22nd, and I'm out here checking out a spot. I want to get back into the woods a good ways, but I noticed they've already started cutting corn out here. Been real dry here lately. We got a couple of squirrels up in the trees here. I just took a shot at one offhand and missed. Uh, they're carrying walnuts or something. Well, those squirrels got away from me. They're, they're tough this time of year, but. Look, there's uh, some flagging tape. Looks like it's been here at least a couple of years. This is kind of the area I was wanting to come look at based on what I saw on the map. I see an old rub in there. Uh, this could be a pretty frequent crossing as far as I know. I haven't seen anything real exciting, but we'll walk on down the creek bed just a little farther and see what it looks like. Well, this spot here is not as promising as I'd hoped. Even with the little puddles of water left, I didn't see much deer tracks around those puddles. As dry as it is, I'd think they'd be all over that. Either way, found a couple crossings. There's one right here where deer come down the bank. It's pretty obvious they come down here. It might be worth checking into again, but uh, I'm going to keep moving on. I've got a couple other spots in mind that I'd like to get out there and maybe hang a camera or something. So I put this camera up on this little fence row here where they cross actually the boundaries right there behind me So it's looking right at where they cross the property line where there's a gap in the fence and uh, We've got crops and growed up CRP fields out here on public and uh, Seems like kind of a pinch back here. What sucks is I can't even hunt the pinch point because it is on another property however deer coming through this pinch may be going straight back to public on either side of the funnel so I like to I think it's a good spot to at least get trail cam pictures and see if there's a good buck using this area and if so then I can go this way or that way and try to catch some deer on the public land so we'll see uh, we'll leave that camera up probably till season and then pull it and see see what happens all right so I'm checking out this sort of a it looks like a funnel to me. It's this little cedar thicket that sandwiched between a highway and some developed area and a grown-up field. Obviously the deer will be all over that field, but I mean I'm on a trail right now. It looks like it could be a pretty good deer trail. And uh, deer are creatures of the edges and they'll follow along the edge of that grown-up field just as much as they will walk straight through it. So uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go all the way back to this corner of the property. Let's see uh, what kind of trails and deer sign in general I can find. Maybe hopefully find a spot that's open enough to climb a tree and hunt because right here it's too thick. So I've been following this deer trail, pretty good deer trail through this thick stuff. And just ahead of me, about 25 yards or so, I heard some stuff get up and saw a couple flickers of white. So, uh, and it's getting thicker it looks like. Maybe the canopy's more open, but you got a squirrel? Oh yeah. Squirrel! Oh, it's so thick on it, I get a shot. Dang squirrel got away from me again. Anyways, deer bedded up here is thick. Uh, looks like there might be a little more open canopy, which is why the undergrowth is thicker. But I'm hoping to find me a, a little spot where I can maybe get a tree stand. So I'm gonna follow this trail all the way in. Well, here it is. We got a little clearing with big red oaks, white oaks, and chinkapin oaks. I have those three kinds of oak trees here. I think something's going to be dropping. Speaking of dropping, I don't want to be right on top of their, their bed, but there's so much cover around here. They can really bed anywhere, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. I will keep an eye on this. There's a lot of oaks in the small area, and it's one of the only places I can get an open shot other than finding a tree on the edge of the CRP. I spoke too soon. I'm right here by the property line and there's a homemade 
corn feeder. I don't know if it still has corn, but I'm trying to find where their trail camera is. Hmm. Yeah, I'm on the edge of this grown up field, and we got ourselves a couple of persimmon trees that are loaded pretty good. Uh, obviously everything's green, just barely starting to turn color, but we'll keep an eye on these when they start dropping. It might be a hot spot. And then right behind these trees in the woods is where I was just looking at all the oak trees. So I'm definitely going to keep this spot in mind. Ooh, I see a squirrel. So here, here's where the deer I jumped. There's at least one. It was bedded right here. Uh, and then there's a trail going that way. You can even see if you look real close this dead stick on the ground where it's all chewed up on the end from the deer st stepping on it so they use this trail to get out to that grown up field where there's persimmons are this trail might, might be hot here in about October and then obviously there was a deer bedded in here just today you got big mature red oaks everywhere and a few white oaks as well this could be a really good spot if the neighbor hunting across the fence doesn't screw it up that feeder hasn't had corn in it for a while just just by looking at it and there's an old climbing stand hanging in a tree that looks like it's been there for a while so hopefully they're not hunting over bait during the season if they are I guess I'll find out and turn them in because that would literally cut out a 250 yard radius of public land that would be off limits to hunting if they had bait there during season so I'll keep that in mind keep an eye on that but otherwise I think this might be a good spot now I did see a squirrel let's see if we can go get a, get a shot at a squirrel for once too late, I spooked him. He's going and gone. That squirrel that ran away is coming back. He's dumb. He's real dumb. He made a bad mistake. These hickory nuts are like crack to the squirrels. I tried to move on. I heard him chomping into one. I hear another one barking now. I tried to move on him, he saw me, took off, ran away, disappeared like they all do. And I sat there for about five minutes and he came straight back. And we got another one barking. Something just took off running and stopped. I thought it was a squirrel, but it, it might be a rabbit. We'll find out. Oh, it's a rabbit. Too bad, not in season. Alright y'all, the sun is going down. It's time to go back to these uh, cut cornfields I was at earlier and see what kind of deer is coming out of the cracks. Maybe we'll see a good buck, maybe not, but I'd like to go see some deer. We got ourselves a squirrel, found a couple spots, and we'll finish it off with whatever, uh, whatever these cornfields have to offer. Dug a couple fawns in the first field.